Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a data caselet. It says that there were 10 junior scientists in an organization. If a junior scientist finished publishing his or her fourth research paper with any of the senior scientists, he or she becomes a senior scientist of the organization. It took three years for these 10 junior scientists to promote it to senior scientist. And in each year, each scientist who had not become a senior scientist at the beginning of the year published at least one and at most four research papers with any of the senior scientists of the organizations, right? So uh, scientists can publish one, two, three or four papers in a year. Okay. And if a, uh, so these are uh, these uh, scientists publish papers with other scientists and uh, <coughs> If they uh, if they are able to publish four papers after the fourth research paper, they are promoted to senior scientists. Okay, it says three scientists each were promoted at the end of the first and the second years, and the remaining four scientists were promoted at the end of the third year. Okay, the number of research papers published in the first and the second years were 25 and 11 respectively. Only one scientist published exactly three research papers in the first and the second years together. One scientist who published two papers in the first year became a senior scientist at the end of the second year. Okay. So let us say these are the 10 scientists S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7, S8, S9 and S10. Okay. They, uh, they are publishing uh, papers every year. Now it says three scientists were promoted at the end of first and second years and remaining four scientists promoted at the end of third year. So this is first year, second year, third year. Okay. So first year three scientists were promoted. So they must have published four papers each because you have to re publish four research papers. Okay. And then it is given that three scientists got promoted in the second year and the last year there are four scientists promoted also it is given that uh, the total number of research papers published are 25 11 and this is not known only one scientist published exactly three research papers in the first and second years together now when we talk about first and second year together uh, <clears throat> now if a person is finishing in three years right so three years means that in the first two years he must have and Every year it is saying that minimum one news, uh, uh, one research paper one has to publish, right? So one possibility could be one, one, two, or another possibility could be three papers published, like two, one, one, or one, two, one. Okay, so these are the possibilities uh, if a scientist is getting promoted in the third year. Okay, because one year to means that four papers, two years could be different possibilities for three years. It will be either you publish two, two papers in the third year and one one in each of the years or one paper in the third year, two paper in one of the two years. So it says that only one scientist published exactly three research papers in the first and the second years together. So let us say this is that scientist S7. Okay, so that scientist must have published only one year in the last year and the other three scientists they cannot publish three papers and they they must have published one plus one and two published here so one one two one one two and one one two. okay so that is the structure known to us okay now uh, we are also given that that is done and then it is given that uh, one scientist who published two papers in the first year became a senior scientist at the end of second year. Okay. So one scientist who had published two papers became a senior scientist at the end of second year. So this scientist must have published two papers here and became a senior scientist here. Okay. Now total 25 papers are published. If you see these numbers, that is uh, 12, 14, and 14, 3, 17. Okay. Now 17, that means 8 are remaining. S5, S6, and S7. Total, they have to publish 8 papers. Right. Now 8, how is it possible? So one possibility is, uh, see, no one can have published 4 papers. Right. Because otherwise, they would complete in first year itself. Right. 
so maximum per person can publish for like do not take order wise okay maximum per person can publish three second person also maximum three third person maximum two okay now there is a person he is publishing one paper in the third year okay, he is publishing one paper in the third year now this person cannot have published three because it cannot be three zero one okay it cannot be three zero one so that means that this pu person published two here okay one here now this person published three this person published three and they must have published one one each year okay now so they completed in second year they completed in third year now you must be wondering that two three four five six seven eight how come is it coming eleven right you must be wondering ki eleven kaise aa sakta right there are only eight so see if these people publish papers in the first year they will become second year they will become uh, uh, senior scientist right now they can publish now these people might have published one 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 or they together published three papers in all right that is that is possible now they are considered as senior scientists right so these people can anyway publish papers in second year also now first question is minimum how many papers were published in the third year now if you see the total is coming as seven so that will be the minimum number why will it be the minimum because again now these six scientists have become senior scientists right now if they publish the paper right so that means this number can be more than seven also so minimum is seven assuming that all these these scientists who converted to uh, senior scientists do not publish any paper but if they publish then the number will be more than seven here also if you see the number is eight but three papers were published by these three scientists now there's a question on that that how many papers were published by the scientists in the second year who had become senior at the end of first year so there are three news three uh, research papers that were published because eight are already here three they must have published we do not know who published how many okay that is not asked so we just need to know that three papers were published by any of these three in any order maybe some person published all three or some person uh, one 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 it, it is just a number that three papers were published by these people how many junior scientists published exactly two papers in the second year so we know that there is only one scientist junior scientist who published exactly two papers in the second year how many junior scientists published exactly two papers in the third year so we know that there are <clears throat> three such junior scientists who published two papers in the third year in order to become senior scientists so this was uh, the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.